वांगी भात I'm Nina and I welcome you all to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. Today I'll be showing you some typical Mangalorean dishes. Mangalorean food is very very tasty. They use a lot of herbs and they use a lot of condiments. The food is a little different from the other South Indian food. You will see how different it is today. Now let us start with the dish which is called Vangi Bhat. Vangi means brinjal and this is a flavorful brinjal rice. Now let us first see what all we need to make this. We need small brinjals. This is rice which has already been cooked. Oil, onions, chopped coriander, dried red chilies, chana dal, scraped coconut, curry leaves, slit green chilies, tamarind pulp, mustard seeds, turmeric powder, black peppercorns, cloves, fennel seeds, poppy seeds or khaskhas, green cardamoms, asafoetida, salt to taste. We'll first start with making a masala. For the masala, let us first heat some oil. Let the oil get nice and hot. Wangi bath is quite spicy and flavorful and you can eat it by itself with maybe perhaps a simple raita. It doesn't need any other accompanying dishes. Oil is nice and hot. I'm adding a few peppercorns, fennel seeds, poppy seeds, few cloves, dried red chilies. Let us break the dried red chilies so that they get sorted easily and a couple of green cardamoms. Peeling the green cardamom so that we get the full flavor of the cardamom. We'll stir the masala slightly so that everything gets evenly sauteed. Be careful while sauteing the masala and ensure that nothing gets burnt because the flavor will be spoiled. So it is very important that the masala is sauteed on medium heat and keep stirring till you get a nice fragrance. So now we are getting a nice fragrance. So we'll switch off the heat and let the masala cool a little before we grind it. Now while the masala is cooling, heat some more oil in a large pan. Why I have taken a large pan? Because it will be easy to stir the rice. Now we'll transfer the masala into a mixer jar. Let it cool a little before we grind it. When the oil is nice and hot, we'll add some mustard seeds and let them splutter. You should wait till the mustard seeds splutter well before adding the other masalas. Otherwise, the full flavor of mustard is not got. So we'll wait till the mustard seeds splutter fully. See now they are nicely spluttering. Now we'll add some chana dal. Now I have soaked the chana dal for a while because this way they get cooked faster. Otherwise the chana dal remains raw and when a raw chana dal comes into your mouth, it doesn't feel good. We'll add some curry leaves, some broken red chilies. We have added red chilies to the masala powder also, but we'll add some more here because not only gives it a nice flavor, it also adds a little more spiciness to the rice. Now we'll add a little hing, saute till the chana dal is nice and light brown. Here again you have to be careful that the masalas do not burn. Now that the dal is nice and golden, we'll add some finely sliced onion and a few slit green chilies. Now amount of chilies can be altered as per your taste. If you like it real spicy, add more green chilies. If you don't like it very spicy, add less green chilies. It's all up to you and your individual taste. Saute till the onion becomes golden. We'll add the brinjals. Now the brinjals should not be cut completely. Take small brinjals, cut off the stem and slit them, making sure that they are joined at one end. Add a little haldi powder, salt to taste and mix properly. Now we'll add a little tamarind paste and mix again. After adding the tamarind paste, add a little water, not too much of it, so that the brinjals get cooked. Now we'll cover and let it cook till the brinjals get soft. Now that these masala ingredients have cooled, we'll grind it to a nice fine powder. We have ground this into a nice powder and it's smelling really good. We'll wait till the brinjals get cooked before adding this powder. Now let us see how far the brinjals are done. They seem to be nearly done. So now we'll add this masala powder that we had earlier made. Turn well. The brinjals need a little more cooking. So what we'll do is, there is a little masala attached to the mixer jar. I'll put a little water. I don't like wasting anything, you know. Rinse the jar and add the water to the brinjals. Okay, now let's see, the brinjals are nicely done.
Now we'll add this rice. Once you add the rice, mix everything very gently so that the rice grains do not break. Once this is done, add a little water, mix, cover and let it get cooked till the rice is completely heated through. Looks like our wangi bhat is ready. So now let us take it onto a serving bowl. Now to finish, let us sprinkle a little scraped coconut and chopped coriander leaves. And now this wangi bhat is all ready to be served.